Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Nate Doggy Dog 52 back again. Uh, I've got a special pickup right here. This isn't something I normally pick up. It's not really a, a Nike basketball sneaker, nor is it a Jordan sneaker. Uh, I picked it up from the store I work at. But before I get into that, I'd like to show, uh, show everyone the snapback I picked up. Uh, it says from an NFL team, Oakland Raiders snapback right there. Uh, this particular kind of uh, snapback is an A frame, it's called, where if you can see the Raiders symbol there is like 3D it's popping out which is pretty cool, the helmet that the uh, guys wearing here is real nice uh, so it's all grey on the top the Raiders symbol, black brim black under, black snap so that was just something I had to pick up because uh, we don't often get things in uh, that are in the teams after the like so I had to pick that up so next up it is the sneakers I picked up uh, it's unusual, obviously, to see for everyone to see me with a regular Nike sportswear box, but this is what I picked up. Uh, let everyone see the Nike tag right there. These are the Nike Rosh Runs. Uh, official colorway, Anthracite, Wolf Grey Cyber. Uh, US 13, UK 12. Uh, the numbers for you are 5118810003. I'll just open up the box, just regular Nike paper, just a plain white paper. And that is the sneakers right there for everyone to see. So, uh, just to kind of talk everyone around the sneaker, I'll grab the right foot right here. Uh, I just picked up this sneaker mainly because it, um, I'd heard through various people on YouTube who had done reviews. Uh, and even just speaking to people that work at my place of work and things like that. They said this was a super comfy sneaker and you you should probably get one uh, because that I'm getting sick and tired of wearing my J's to work and then they get all wrecked and destroyed and uh, things like that. So this was a nice comfortable sneaker because obviously if I work in a shoe store you have to have comfortable sneakers. So this fits that belly I feel. Uh, just to talk about it around the sneaker, it's basically some people call it a running trainer or some people just kind of, kind of call it a lightweight comfort sneaker. I'm more inclined to go with lightweight comfort sneaker, I just don't know how good they'd be for running. Um, I think if you're going to run you probably better go with a Nike Free or perhaps an Air Max 2012 uh, or maybe the new Lunar Glide or a Free Haven, something like that, um, where this this doesn't bend, you know, the same way the Nike Free sole does. Uh, so yeah, that's probably better if you're looking at that. So enough about what you shouldn't buy, why you shouldn't buy this, why you should. Uh, and it's a completely nylon upper right round. Uh, uh, obviously that's for super lightweight and for breathability so your uh, feet are going to get lots of air in around them. Uh, very simple shoestrings, uh, rope shoestrings. Uh, you've got a little pull tab on the tongue there. Uh, it's got a Nike swoosh right there. Uh, one thing that is pretty impressive about the sneaker is being that it is a kind of minimalistic sneaker is the fact that it's got pretty good heel cushioning around here. There's quite a lot of like cushioning in here, which is always a bonus uh, to try and lock down that heel. Uh, I think this swoosh might be 3M. I'll have to check it out later, uh, but it looks as if it may be. Uh, it's got the pull tab on the back, um, and this is a foam. It's not Lunar Lawn foam, I thought it perhaps might have been, but I think it's EVA it's called. Uh, it's a very nice, really nice uh, to walk on. I had a quick kind of walk around before this video and it's really nice. Uh, it does have an immovable insole, um, which is obviously that, a good foam. You could, I suppose you could swap it out to something if you really wanted to, but personally uh, I think these sneakers are crazy comfortable and I would think you'd be crazy to swap them. Uh, that's a little insert you get with the sneaker. and uh, That's a the sneaker there. It does have like a ridged uh, insole in the sneaker, which I'm uh, not really sure why. But it does make it incredibly comfortable. This it is an incredibly light sneaker, uh, but at the same time it's very, very comfortable, especially for someone such as myself who'll be on their feet all day uh, in a sneaker store. So that's me kind of talked around the sneaker. Uh, let me go and stick them on feet. So that's the sneaker right there. This is the side view, front, other side, the back, and to show everyone the soles. As I said, like, obviously you can't. Uh, see how comfortable these are, feel how comfortable these are on a video, but these are incredibly comfortable. The foam's so soft and it's nice and cushioned to walk on. Uh, just to give everyone a bird's eye view, 
as you can see, you can you can make out where your feet are. Like here, you can see where my toe is right here. Uh, so this is just a great sneaker. I'd recommend you didn't wear these in the rain, obviously, for obvious reasons, because you'll just get soaked. Now comes the portion of my video. What I like to do um, is jump into my shout out. So obviously, get the phone, get the list popping. So uh, this list is ever increasing. Uh, anyone who wants to be shouted out knows what to do by now. Just ask kindly and I will add you to the list. It's not a problem. Uh, kick the list off. First up, Horse Eddie. Um, everyone knows by now our history together. We talk a lot. Uh, we're very supportive of what each other does. Uh, so shout out to him. Uh, next up is Ike Bezel. The reason I do these sneaker videos. He just told me one day, go for it. You should do it. And I do. Uh, the sneaker addict, aka DJ Dells. Uh, I love watching his videos, they're always entertaining if nothing else. Uh, and he's really excited, I've just seen recently before I've done this video, he's got his Jordan uh, Olympic 6s vid up, which is crazy for him, the 6s is his favourite sneaker, uh, Jordan sneaker, so uh, good cop on that. Uh, next up, Black Santa 24, this is uh, The Closet Collector, the manager of Soulfly in Miami, and he also had his web website, theclosetcollectors.com, it's D A C L O S E T. C O L L E C T O R S dot com. Also, check his website. We always have sneakers on there, even ones that came out years ago, like the Black History Month 3s, uh, which came out last February, not 2012, 2011. Uh, he has them a couple of sizes, so check that out. Uh, next up, Franilations, Nike SPs is his thing, but he's been copying Kobe's and uh, Jordan's and things like that a lot recently too. Uh, moving on, JJ Jumpman23, he did a Rush Run video also. So check that out if you like mine. Uh, Jstar25, he's always making people think when he does his videos. He likes to kind of have a debate with people and make points and kind of conversate with people going back and forth to see what, what, where they agree and have their differences and whatever. So that's always shout outs to him for that. And also, uh, before I move on, the website he's part of, uh, sneakershoebox.com uh, is awesome for people just starting out in the sneaker game. You go on there and you can check out a, a, a part of the site it's called the legit list and it's going to keep you right on where you can cop sneakers from uh, and then it's going to have the fake list so every time someone gets here's a fake sneaker or they think a, a website might be a little bit uh, they're unsure they can check out on that and that will keep you right which is always real handy because uh, it helped me out a lot when I was first starting in the sneaker game so shout outs to him doing that. Next up, Parametric 99. This is going from uh, Chicago all the way over to the other side of the world, Melbourne, Australia. So shout out to him. Uh, back over to this west coast, San Francisco, Dubstep Slat 415. I love watching his videos. He's always copping crazy numbers of things. Uh, so it's interesting to watch to see what he's got next. Uh, the latest customs did was the King of the Galaxy, the Bronze. They're super dope. I really like them. So shout out to him. Uh, Jumpman Bostic, uh, the man with the basement of the Jays. 758 pairs, I believe it is, as Jordan's he has. So uh, that's crazy. Uh, it's an awesome collection he has. Shout out to him. Uh, next up, Laidback365. He's always doing his bit when he gets a pair of sneakers. He only wears them once or twice. Then he's willing to sell them on at a reduced rate to help other people out uh, if they didn't manage to cop or don't have the money. And he'll knock a bit of money off and sell them on, which is great, I think, if he can do that. Sticky213, I uh, love watching his videos, he was one of the original people that I kind of watched uh, religiously every week for his new vids. Uh, he's also opening us to open up a store in South Beach in Miami, so uh, good luck with that and I hope all goes well. Uh, next up, Nice Kicks, a store in Austin, Texas. Uh, shout out to them on that. Uh, coming to the UK now, uh, D63SX5, uh, love what you're doing, keep it up. Uh, I'll keep it with the UK and jump around a little bit. I've got my man uh, Kieran, Say What You See 666. Uh, I always talk with him, I've been talking to him a lot just now. Uh, also, the Simp Jam, Simon, uh, shout outs to him. Uh, obviously, these are UK sneakerheads, so shout outs to him. And not to forget, you've also got the Game 59. Talk to him quite regularly also, so uh, shout outs to all of them on the UK sneakerheads. Jumping back in, uh, Crazy Black Man 108. Uh, the lucky, lucky man that got to uh, meet Derek Rose when he was doing his uh, sneaker review uh, around the All-Star game. Uh, the All-Star sneaker it was, the D-Rose All-Stars, so shout out to him. Uh, Zia X0712, this guy always makes me laugh and he's always scooping up amazing, amazing deals from the outlets, so shout out to him on that. Uh, next up, Nightwing2303, uh, 
he works with sneakerfiles.com and it's always interesting to watch his vids, he does performance related vids so he's going to tell you what's the best performance sneakers to wear. Uh, so if you're ever kind of stuck or unsure you should go check out his channel for sure. Uh, Ducal's Turbo, shout out to him. Uh, Logan J. Wade, shout out to him. Uh, Sam Colt, who is uh, from Dallas, uh, 3TVID is his username. Uh, Finest Gear MIC, my boy Eddie over there in New York. Uh, and last but not least, DJ Drama 5, whose username is Dainichi Johnson. Shout out to him, I've been talking to him uh, quite a bit recently. So uh, that comes to the end of my list and also the end of my video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like what you see, do please comment and tell me what you liked, tell me what you didn't. Uh, like the video also and do subscribe to my channel and check out all the other vids I have. Uh, until the next time, this is Nate Doggy Dog 52 signing off. Peace.